Okay, if you program microcontrollers, you probably want some sort of feedback, some human interface feedback. And on the SCAT3 board, we have 16 LEDs, which gives us feedback as a bar graph. But normally we use a display, like this one here. This is OLED display, which we could hook up to the microcontroller. But what about if we don't have any displays? Well, we could use our smartphone, because everybody's got a smartphone. So we could send display data to our smartphone wirelessly through the HC06 Bluetooth module. So I have three different display values that I'm going to send. The first one is ADC. I have a potentiometer that's feeding 0 to 3.3 volts into the ADC. I have a push button switch so we can monitor the status of the push button switch. And I have a temperature sensor on the scamp board and we could take the temperature and send it to the display. So in this video I'm going to show you how we could do that. We could send uh, display values using Bluetooth to your smartphone. Okay I have my app up and running on my smartphone and the name of my Bluetooth module is Blue One so I'll select it from the list then it asks me, how do you want to use the phone? I mean, want to use it as a receiver because I want to receive data. So there's my, my three display, temperature, pot, and switch. So now you see it's blinking. It's not paired yet. So I'll pair it with the pairing button down here. So she'll pair. She'll go solid. We go solid. Now we're, we're seeing our display. So there's our temperature, 21 degrees C. I'll put my finger over the sensor and we'll watch it change. See it's going up. I'll use some cold spray. It's gone negative. And my pot right now, 4095. So it's seeing 3.3 .3 volts. So I could take it down. All the way down to zero. Back up again. So next is the push button switch. You see the status. Move this out of the way. So right now it's open and it's closed. So there's our three display values. Now all this this app we could we could display up to ten. I'm just using three for demo purposes. Okay, here's the code running on the Scamp Three board, and it's fairly simple. So the first word you see there is called wireless. So what that does, it redirects everything that's in quotes. It sends it to the UART one, and UART one is connected to the Bluetooth module at 9600 baud. So that's the word wireless. Now here's our main word called display. So pin 7 is connected to the push button switch with a pull up. And pin 3 is the analog input, 0 to 3.3 .3 volts from the pot. We run the word wireless. So now it's going to the Bluetooth module instead of the USB port. Then we go into a begin, a gain loop. Now this is continuous. It's never going to come out of this loop. So we take the temperature. We drop off the fractional. We just keep the integer. We print it. And then we print degree C with a comma. Now that's important, that comma there. So the next, the next item, we're going to take a sample. That's the ADC. We're going to sample ADC. We're going to print the value. Then we're going to print the comma. So this is our second comma. Now our third item is a push button switch. It's either open or closed. And at the very end, we have a semicolon. So we could have up to 10 values. So each value that we start with will have a comma, and the last one will have a semicolon. So if we had 10 items, the 10th one will have a semicolon. Now a semicolon means go back up to the beginning and start, start from the temperature, and the comma means jump to the next item. So we'll jump down here. That tells the, the software on the smartphone. So that's our main word there, display. Just run that, pair it, and run it, and you'll get all your displays. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard. And on the very left, you can see the Bluetooth module, the HC06. And on the very right, you can see the SCAMP3 board. Now, the Bluetooth module is powered through VIN, that's 5 volts, fed into VCC. The grounds are connected together. The TX output of the Bluetooth module is fed into RX1 of the SCAMP board. And the RX pin of the Bluetooth is fed into the TX1 of the SCAMP board. Pin 7, we connect a push button switch, has an internal pull up. We have a pot across 3.3 .3 volts, and the wiper is connected to pin 3, that's our ADC input. So that's basically it there. There's a schematic diagram for a smartphone display. Now, the software that runs on your smartphone, you could get it online. It's not available on the Google Play Store. 
but if you search online it's either called Arduino Tooth or Arduino Bluetooth Terminal and it's an APK so you download it into your phone then go to your download folder select it and click install and then it will be installed on your phone now if you go into settings on the app you can see all 10 of the sensor names so you can put any name you want all the way up to 10 so you just select it and you just type in the name hit next and she'll she'll be put into each one of these items so you could do up to 10 I just had three just for demo purposes okay so now you know how to use your smartphone as a display if you don't have one and it's very simple so all you need is an HC06 Bluetooth module now you could use any microcontroller I'm using the SCAMP 3 board but any microcontroller that has a UART you could use this feature to use your smartphone as a display